We are ready for the Ninja Bread Man. Ninja bread. Now, right away, let's talk about what do we think the setting is going to be? Where do you think the setting is going to be? What do you think, Tony? Well, then you better not give any secrets away. You know what, you know what they say about a good book? You could always hear a good book over and over and over again, right? You can always hear it over again. So the name of this one is The Ninja Bread Man. And we're going to find out where it takes place. And we're definitely going to have some different characters. Here we start out. Beginning of the book. I think you're right, Bunny. Me too. I think you're right. The Ninja Bread Man. I think you are right, my friend. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little old sensei who taught ninjas in a hidden dojo. dojo. Does anybody know what a sensei is? Anybody know what a sensei is? What's a sensei, Natalie? Okay. Where's Connor? What do you call the person who teaches your karate class? Um, sensei or construction. Instructor? Okay, so you call them sensei? Same thing for my, my boys. They call their instructor sensei. So once upon a time, there was a little old sensei who taught ninjas in a hidden dojo. Now my next question, Hunter, you need to move forward. My next question is, what's a dojo? What's a dojo? Connor, what's a dojo? Like the, like the, um, the thing we, we do our our taekwondo. In. Right, it's the place where you go to learn your karate, right? The group trained hard to be the strongest, fastest, smartest, and sneakiest ninjas in all the land. Sensei was very proud of his students. They trained very hard. What does that word trained mean? What does trained mean? They practiced. they practiced and they practiced and they practiced. Finally, as Sensei opened the oven, oh my goodness, I skipped a whole page. Crazy. So proud that one night he made a special treat, ninja bread. You're really distracting me. Can you please go sit over there? Ninja bread was an age-old recipe. Passed down from sensei to sensei. It took a long time to master. Once baked, the cookies contained many mysterious powers. They also were dangerously delicious. Sensei mixed the batter, rolled the dough, and shaped the ninja bread into tiny swords and throwing stars. Tiny swords, he mixed and he mixed and he mixed. Then Sensei crafted a ninja bread man. Once done, he carefully placed the tray in the oven. Carefully place the tray in the oven. Finally, a sensei opened the oven door to check on the ninja bread. He opened the door to check on the ninja bread. Peeking inside, peeking inside. Kapow! Did I scare you? Yeah. No, scary. <laughs> scary a little bit. Kapow! Outlet the Ninja Bread Man alive and kicking. What's Kapow, Hunter? Adamanapia. You're not paying attention. He is alive and kicking. Sensei was surprised to hear the cookies speak. The time has come to test your students. Now they must try and try as best they can. They can't beat me. I'm the 
Ninja Bread Man. With a crack and a flash, the Ninja Bread Man disappeared into a cloud of sugar dust. This is the last time I'm going to ask. Please go sit over there. You are distracting me. Sensei sounded the gong as a warning to his ninjas. Tonight, they faced the greatest challenge of their lives. <laughs> Lucy, stop. Ninja Brad Bear, Ninja Bear was balancing on one finger when he heard the gong. Suddenly, a sweet scent filled the night. Danger was near. With a crack and a flash, a cookie figure stood before him and announced, try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me, I'm the ninja bread man. I got past the sensei and I escaped in the night and I will defeat you too. I can, I can. This rhyme's a little different. He says the I can, I can at the end. It's kind of different, kind of cool. I wonder what character he is going to meet next. You're now shaking my camera. Can you please go to where I asked you to sit? Ninja Bread Man, shouted Ninja Bear. You will make a mighty morsel. He's like, yeah, you're going to be a good snack, right? You will make a mighty morsel. With a running roar, Ninja Bear charged at the Ninja Bread Man, jumped out of the way, and the Ninja Bear lost his balance. Then with a bow, the Ninja Bread Man escaped into the night. Come back, yelled the Ninja Bear, but the cookie disappeared. The bear was no match. <clears throat> Ninja Snake was throwing stars in the forest when she sensed Sensei's warning. The bamboo swayed in the wind. Danger was near. Suddenly, a cookie figure stood before her and announced, try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the ninja bread man. I got past the sensei, escaped in the night. I dodged the ninja bear in the pale moonlight, and I can defeat you too. I can, I can. Ninja Bread Man hissed. I'm sorry, Ninja Bread Man hissed the Ninja Snake. You will make a super snack. Super. With a flick, flick, swish, Ninja Snake launched her throwing stars, but the Ninja Bread Man was too fast. He launched a cookie star ninja attack of his own. Then with a bow, the Ninja Bread Man escaped into the night. Come back, yelled the Ninja Snake, but the cookie disappeared. So we've had a bear and a snake. What do you think's next? You already read the book too? Ninja Mouse was training with the sword when the warning gong rang. Ninja Mouse heard someone tiptoeing around. Danger was near. In the blink of an eye, a cookie figure stood before him and announced, try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the Ninja Bread Man. I dodged the Ninja Bear in the pale moonlight. I slipped past the Ninja Snake with a throwing star fight. I'll defeat you too. I can, I can.
I love my friends who are listening quietly. Ninja Fox was sitting beside the great waterfall. He did not hear Sensei's warning. Hmm, Ninja Fox gently hummed. I sense something dangerously delicious. I sense something dangerously delicious. Uh -um. With a crack and a flash, a cookie figure stood before him and announced, try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the ninja bread man. I got past the sensei, escaped the night. I dodged a ninja bear in the pale moonlight. I slipped past the ninja snake and I made ninja mouse ache. And I'll outfox you too. I can. I can. Hmm. What do you think? Oh, baby. You think the fox is going to be smarter? Yes. Yes. No. I'm sorry, said the ninja fox. I didn't hear you. What did you say? The ninja bread man stepped closer and repeated. Try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the ninja bread man. I got past the sensei. I escaped to the night. I dodged the ninja bear in the pale moonlight. I slipped past the ninja and snake and made ninja mouse ache. And I'll outfox you. I can, I can. I'm so sorry, ninja fox, pretending he could not hear the cookie. The waterfall is so loud. What did you say? The ninja bread man took one final step closer. And the fox is putting his here, his hand right here. He says he can't hear. I, I don't think I'd be stepping right up to that fox. Oh, following one quick movement, a cloud of sugar dust covered ninja fox. What do you think that one quick movement was? Ninja bear, ninja snake, and ninja mouse came running out of the forest to find ninja fox. Was the ninja bread man gone? It's kind of like our reader's theater today, isn't it? Far away in another hidden dojo, a little old sensei worked under a mystical moon, mixing and rolling and shaping a ninja bread man. Okay, so let's talk about it. What was different? This one took place in a forest. Give me a character. Who is a character in this one, Nora? The ninja bread man. Who is the character of this one? The fox. The fox. Who is the character, Lucia? The snake. The snake. Good. A lot. Eli. What was another character? Um, the, mouse. the mouse. The bear. The bear. The, the person who made the ginger bread. The sensei, right? We had some different characters. Liam, did you have another one? I think we got them all. Stop. What's that? Okay.